Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little bit different of a video, kind of experimenting here a little bit. I wanted to show you guys a general daily lo routine looks like. I want to dive in deeper and do like a detailed day in the life and show you like step by step every single part of our day. But for now, I think that this is a really good representation of what our day looks like. So I start out with a gallon of water, yes, a gallon of water, with my D-Mano supplement, my turmeric curcumin with piperin, and then I take a probiotic, green tea extract, vitamin C, and then I also have my multi every single morning, and then I wash it all down with my water, and then I make some iced coffee and get the kids ready to go. And this particular morning, it was Wednesday, and Riker is starting to go back to daycare on Wednesdays. We swap the kids out just so that Riker can have a little bit of so socialization and we are loving it. Good morning guys. All right, I just got Riker to daycare. Kaya and I are going to run to Target because they need new clothes desperately, desperately. And I wanted to see if they had a mirror there. So let's go to Target. Okay, so I hit the clearance rock hard when I went to Target. Um, also, I have a Target package that came in. Um, okay, so I'm going to start going through this. The kids needed new clothes, like I said. We just got back and I was looking for basically everything for the kids. Um, and when I was at Target, they had so much stuff on their Mom, clearance yeah, racks. Mom, Holy moly. What? Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to separate everything out into Rikers and Kaya's. Kaya got more this time because she needed more. Um, I need to go through a lot of her clothes and just like donate a lot of it or throw it away because some of it is so stained. I like cannot get the stains out. So that is going to be going live in my at home with Morgan channel sometime next week because I will be going through their closet today and like decluttering it and then deep cleaning their bedroom as well. So stay tuned for that. But um, first thing, I got a couple of things for the kids um, besides just clothes. So with Riker, we are starting to work on colors. I always start with colors. Um, for my kids right around this age. I was going to pick up a potty today too, um, which I'll probably end up ordering online now. Um, I'm gonna start potty training Riker here in the next couple of months. Um, so I want to pick up a potty. He is familiar with the potty, but um, I don't wanna like dive in 100% until he's closer to two and a half. So that's just our plan and that's what we did with Kaya as well and it worked out super great. Um, but right now I want to work on words and colors with him um, and starting to get him to recognize some of these a little bit more. And I try to like break up my, like when I'm working on something with my kids, I try to break it up instead of doing it all at once. So for example, now he's sleep trained in his big boy bed, which I will also have a video going live next week, hopefully Monday on how I sleep trained Riker in his big boy bed. Um, I plan on sharing that with you guys. And like going through like the whole process, um, a lot of it, I'll tell you now, it's just patience, but um, I like to do like one thing at a time. So it was, it was sleep training into his big boy bed, and now I want to work on more colors and numbers and letters and words. And then once we get to two and a half, which is like our standard age for potty training, um, we will dive right into that and have him potty trained within a couple of weeks, hopefully, um, if it goes well like it did with Kai. So. That is kind of like my plan and not every kid is the same. For example, Kaya was speaking full sentences by the time she was two. Riker knows about 60 to, you know, he's, I think he's at like 65 words that he can say that I can understand. Um, he says like two word phrases. He says, get down, what is that? Who did that? There it is. 
uh, but just like random things like that. So he says a lot of phrases, but I'm trying to work on pronunciation with him and getting him to say more words and to imitate like what I'm saying more. So, and hopefully with him going to daycare starting today, as you guys saw, um, hopefully that helps a little bit too. So social interaction a little bit for him is gonna do him some good and I'm really excited about it, so. Okay, so hopping into the rest of the things that I got. I Kaya picked out this big book of um, Dr. Seuss books and this is the Big Blue Book of Beginner Books. I thought this would be really good for when she starts to read. She starts kindergarten this fall, so I thought that this would be a really good one for her and then for now I can, um, I can read them to her and these are all ones that we don't have. So it was just like a really good combination of several things. But this was only $13 on sale for one, two, three, four, five, six Dr. Seuss books. And typically they're like $6 each. So that was a good deal. Um, and then I also got number, these are flashcards, alphabet and numbers. And I'm going to start going through um, just like sight words with Riker. So like apple, um, dog, etc., cat. And then Kaya can start working on the other side, which is um, the letters, um, associating them with the words. So it kind of helps both of them. And then I also have like numbers on here um, for Kaya. And then we'll start working on math soon too. Looking in this viewfinder, like I haven't had my hair done in probably three months. No, I think it's been like 10 weeks now. Anyway, yeah, my roots are looking really rough and I have an appointment in the morning and I am super pumped for that. All right, so in the mail, I got these um, metal Elo straws. I actually got these for my sister-in-law for Christmas and I ended up liking them so much that I had to go and get a package for myself. Um, these are $15 and um, they were at my Target but then they sold out so I just ordered them online. So I will have those linked down below for you because I know for sure I can link that and like the book and the flashcards and stuff. So I'll link all of that stuff. Now some of this stuff that is on clearance, I will try and link as much of it as possible. Um, but I hit the clearance rack hard for the kids and a lot of this, I got so many things. I spent $150 on the kids' clothes and Riker got one, two, three, four pairs of pants and one, two, three, four shirts. Kaya got one, two, three, four pairs of pants and one, two, three, four, five, six shirts and a jacket. And I got some underwear, all for $150 with my red card discount and um, these clearance items. And there was a 5% off coupon that I stacked on top of that, but it wasn't for the clearance items. It was only for um, some of the art class full price items that I got. Um, I will run through prices on these as I go. I prefer to get the joggers for Riker. That's my like preferred style for whether it be, I like jogger jeans um, and then I like the jogger pants. They just seem to fit the kids so much better. Um, so I got him a 3T in this camo for $9. Um, Riker actually is in a 2T, um, but I wanted to see how big a 3T was on him, like how big it was on him. Um, and then I already have a pair of these like red joggers, but these are in a 3T and they were on clearance for $6.30 versus $9. So they're about $3 off. Um, and then I got him a 2T in, and like I said, this is exactly what he's wearing right now. It's about a 2T. Um, and these were $9 and I got him the sweatpants. Now I was going to get a 3T, but they looked so huge. I didn't think that they would fit him. Um, I got a 2T in these sweatpants and these were $12. Again, all of the full price items, kids and toddler items were 5% off. And then I stacked that with my red card discount of 5%. So it was like 10% off of um, all of the full price items and then an additional 5% off of all of the clearance items. Um, now most of these shirts I believe were clearance. Um, he is in a 2T comfortably, 3T is big on him, um, but I think I got a combination here. Um, I got a 2T and this was $5 versus $8. And this one was full price for like eight bucks only. Yeah, I got a 2T for $8. I got a 3T in this for $5. And these ones are originally eight. So these were like $3 off plus 5% off. 
Um, and then I got this in a 3T. He has this exact shirt, um, but I got this one in a size bigger than what he has. Um, so I got a 3T for $5. So I would say this was about $59, um, less than $60, plus with 5% off on top of that um, for all of these clothes. So five, I like, I'd say probably 50 with all of the discounts. So there's like 10% discount. So I got all of this for 50 bucks for him, which is a really good deal. And Kaya's stuff, now this is seriously where I saved the most money with Kaya's clothes. Such a freaking steal. Um, I got, so this is an art class shirt. Just like a chill, it says staying in, chilling out. Just like some cute loungewear. Um, this was originally $12 and I got it for $3.60. Kaya really liked this one. I originally eight dollars and i got it for two dollars and forty cents um this one was also on clearance it was originally ten dollars and actually so it says seven dollars but it rang up as five so i got this one for five dollars so that was 50 percent off um and then i wanted to get kaya a graphic tee i didn't even realize it was on clearance i just went over to the graphic tees and picked up my favorite one and it was on clearance so this one was originally $9.99 and um, we got on clearance for $6.99. I love going to the graphic tee section. Um, now this one was full price. Um, in the art class section, this was $17. I sized up so that it would fit her for a while and I think the colors are so cute on it. This one was also full price for $12. Now remember, I got 5% off plus an additional 5% off because kids apparel was 5% off and then I have my red card. So I got 10% off of these full price items. Um, but I got her this one from art class, another like loungewear shirt. I love these little like crop top loungewear shirts and I sized it up. Um, and that one was $12. Um, I found these in clearance. Now I don't know how well they're gonna hold up because they're like that, like fleece material. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not super confident that these are going to hold up, but these are the Art Class brand. They're very like fleecy. I can, I think they're just gonna peel off. Um, I got them for $4.50 and they were originally $15 and they're just like cute flare pants. Um, and then I got, this was also full price and when I was driving the cart around, the pants got stuck in the, um, like in the cart, so they got kind of dusty on the bottom. Kaya was like, oh my gosh, don't do that. She got so mad at me when, when they got stuck. But um, anyways, I they're just like cute like flare pants because um, flares are coming back in, you guys. Skinnies are going out and flares are coming back in. So I got her these, these were $17, also in the art class brand. Um, and then I picked up two pairs of jeggings for $6 each. Now this week it is buy two, get a dollar off. So I believe I got a dollar off of these two. I'm not super sure, um, but I was trying to find just plain black leggings because that's what I like for Kaya anyway, and they didn't have any left. So run online if you can um, to get some leggings while they're on sale. But um, the last thing I got for Kai was this jacket. And I got it for like the spring and then hopefully it'll still fit her a little bit this fall. Um, but I got it for $8.99 and it was originally $29.99. So I got a steal of a deal on it. $8.99. What is that? That's like that's like 75% off. So anyways, that is what I got from Target. Seriously got the best deals. $150 is what I spent on all of that besides um, like I did not include um, the prices for these. Um, my total was like $176 and for these things, um, cause this was like $3.99, this was $7.99, this was $5.99 and this was $13. So yeah, I probably spent like $140 on the kids' and stuff. So anyway, yeah, I am very proud of that haul and I feel like I need to send pictures to Mike now because it was such a good deal. So anyway, that's what I got with the kids for their clothing haul. I will be doing another haul soon. I just, I saw these in clearance and I had to grab them um, and Riker was running low on pants. So that's really honestly like what was going on is the kids are running like a little bit low on clothes but their clearance was like insane. Um, but I also need to load up for the summer slash spring, which I plan to do in like April. 
All right, so let's talk weight loss update. A lot of you guys over on Instagram today are like freaking out about this weight loss transformation. So far, I'm almost 40 down and I finally branched out and I got some new jeans, but I have been eating these eat to evolve meals because they've been so easy and they keep me on track. It's a keto meal plan. I'll leave them linked down below for you guys. If you use my code byland 15, you can get 15% off of your first order. And if you place your order before 10 a.m. every single Friday, Central Standard Time that is, you can get your order the next week. They ship it out on like Monday or Tuesday and you get it by like Wednesday, Thursday. But I swear by these and that is why I haven't been doing a ton of like recipe videos over on my TikTok is because I've just been surviving off my eat to evolve. But then Kaya eats her lunch. She chose some pizza rolls today and then we go get Riker. And and Riker, I've been working on flashcards with him and pronunciation. He's very impatient unless I give him gummy bears when we're doing this. Um, but he's making so much progress. We're up to almost 70 words. So yay, Riker. His most favorite thing is to do the animal sounds. He can say the words as well, but he loves to make the animal sounds. So kitty and elephant and dog and wolf and all of the farm animals, he loves to make the animal sounds. So. I wanted to include this just because I think it's super important to sit down with your kids and have one-on-one -on -one time every day. And this is my version of doing some like really productive one-on-one -on -one time. The kids get a little bit restless, but like I said, it's been paying off. And then I do numbers with Kaya because that's what she needs to work on. After we're done doing our flashcards and having dinner, then I will get the kids upstairs into a bath. We do bath about every other night, sometimes every night, depending on how messy they are. Um, so this night, I'm just getting the books, the toothbrushes, everything ready to go. And then once Mike comes into the bathroom to hang out with the kids, then I go grab their jammies and head back into the bathroom, drop those off and set out the rest of their things. And then I head downstairs while Mike watches the kids in the bath and I do my thing. Now this night in particular, I had to get Kaya and Riker's Valentine's ready. We had a ton of snacks, like Valentine's Day themed snacks, left over from Riker's birthday party the weekend before. I just did like a small pinata. I had way too much left over, so I just separated them out into baggies. Usually I do some really cute like cellophane bags or like a theme. Like one year I did uh, like little choo-choo trains with like Reese's and like juice boxes. That was probably my most creative. It was super cute. But this year we're just doing some good old Ziploc baggies and separating out the rest of the pinata candy, giving suckers to the older kids and then gummies to the younger kids. Um, and then I also did some applesauce packets, but the kids ended up eating those. So I had to resort to gummies for the littler kids and worst comes to worst, uh, mom and dad can have some of those gummies and starbursts if they are babies. So anyway, that is what I did this year for the kids' Valentines. And then for our providers, we did, it's a mother and daughter. So I just did a Nutter Butter bar and or like a package of Nutter Butters with um, a package of like Muddy Buddies or here in Minnesota we call it Puppy Chow. Um, so that's what I did for our providers and I did like, oh, thanks for being our buddy. We are nutterly in love with you. And I thought it was like a really creative, cute theme. Um, and then we also did little cards for our providers as well. So that is what I'm doing on this particular night. I'm getting those Valentines ready to go and set aside for Friday morning.
After I was done putting the Valentines together, I got my huge water bottle, filled it up a little bit again with some ice. I've got some strawberries in there, as you guys can see. Um, in the morning, I forgot to mention, I do like to toss in a little bit of frozen fruit. It doesn't add in a ton of carbs to your water and it's not artificial and it just gives it a little bit of a natural taste and I really love it. It also cools down your water because the fruit is frozen and then as it melts throughout the day, it gives you a little bit of flavor in your water. So it's a win-win. Um, I'm just finishing up an antibiotic and that is what I am doing here and taking my other supplements before I go upstairs, get the kids in jammies and read them their books before bed. As far as my kids' supplements, they just take a multi. I get this one from Sam's Club. It's super easy. Gummy vitamins, Riker gets one, Kaya gets two, and they each get a magnesium gummy as well. Magnesium is just something that their doctor and I chatted about, and there are so many benefits to taking additional magnesium. And yes, I know that there's mac and cheese on the back of my sweatshirt. I made homemade mac and cheese for the kids for dinner this night, and I got mac and cheese all over myself. So anyway, first I sit down with Riker, and we go through his books we've been working on colors and animals and like all of the things we have a 100 first words book that we go through every night as well as a colors book and then like a body parts book so it's like where is baby's belly where are baby's eyes and it just gets them familiar with all of the like I would say like standard things, right? Like colors, body parts, and then uh, their first words. And Riker loves these peekaboo books. And for Kaya, now you'll notice Riker is just like all over me. He's such a monster, which you can tell why I had to take most of the toys out of the room and I had to move the books into the closet because he just destroys everything. But Kaya has chosen to start reading some Dr. Seuss books and Riker such a monster he's like trying to destroy it but that is what I'm doing here and then I put them to bed and that ends our day all right you guys that is going to wrap it up from me for today's video I hope you enjoyed this like overview of our day in the life I'll do a really detailed one for you guys next week so stay tuned for that if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up I will see you on Monday for another video I also have a dinners idea video coming up so stay tuned okay bye guys